when someone's a whistleblower, they're making a very serious, conscious decision. They're making a decision that can change their lives, change their futures, impact family life too. There needs to be this certain unbreakable trust. Confidentiality is that trust, and that can't ever be violated. So tell me your name and where you worked. My name is John Crane. I worked for the Department of Defense, Inspector General. My responsibilities was to, in part, promote whistleblowing, protect whistleblowers, and through that process, achieve transparency. Lots of whistleblowers have a concern that they will be reprised against by their management. The Inspector General DOD stands as the sole institution under statute making sure that that does not happen. Inside the super secret NSA, several analysts and managers believed that the agency had a powerful tool that might have had a chance to head off 9-11, but it wasn't used. One of those agency insiders was Thomas Drake. Thomas Drake worked for us for almost five years, reporting to us, gave us very important information, volumes of it actually. To have such an important source in the NSA, suddenly the subject of a criminal investigation, that raised questions of was his confidentiality somehow violated? And what type of future chilling message would that send to any other whistleblower contacting the IGDOD? From a personal perspective, I mean, did you feel like your office had violated a sacred trust? I had questions. I asked whether or not the IGDOD had somehow or rather violated Thomas Drake's confidentiality. And I asked the general counsel's office that. And their response was simply based upon attorney-client privilege, they could not reveal to me the way whether Mr. Drake's name had been provided or not. So eventually the case goes to a trial phase. Drake is charged. Do his lawyers want anything from your office? Drake's attorneys asked us for documents relevant to Mr. Drake's whistleblowing. That material had been destroyed. I was told that my investigative staff wouldn't be allowed to investigate and that the matter would be investigated by the Office of General Counsel instead. And why is that? Is that usual or unusual? That is very unusual that normally attorneys do not conduct security investigations. What did your office tell the judge in Drake's case about when the documentation relevant to his case was destroyed? Senior leadership within the Inspector General told the Department of Justice that those documents had been destroyed according to a standard document destruction policy. I could not have it supported that statement. Those records should not have been destroyed, that it was against policy procedure, and that the statement to the Department of Justice is not true. So what's the effect of all of this, both on Drake's case and on whistleblowing writ large, particularly on whistleblowers within the NSA? My fear was, was that should he be under criminal indictment, 
because he was following IG instruction, that that would shut down the general whistleblower system because that would be such a negative example that future whistleblowers, rather than working within the system, which is what Drake did, that they, they would work outside the system and they, they would compromise classified information. I think the government's going to, uh, to launch an investigation. I, I think they're going to say, I've committed grave crimes. I've you know, violated the Espionage Act. Uh, they're going to say, you know, I've, I've uh, aided our enemies in, um, in making them aware of these systems. So a couple months after you leave the office, The Guardian starts publishing disclosures of warrantless mass surveillance by the NSA that Edward Snowden leaked to us. What was your reaction? The fact that Mr. Snowden went outside the system, I think, shows a failure in the general whistleblower protection program within the Department of Defense because whistleblowers need to have confidence that they can step forward without subsequently having reprisal and without being actually put on trial. If you were Edward Snowden today, do you think you could trust this system? The Drake example provides a chilling effect that exists to this day. It will be the test of time to see whether or not the new institutions that have been recently set up in response to Edward Snowden, whether those institutions gain the confidence and the support of the intelligence community. I haven't been uncomfortable, you know, I haven't really been scared like yeah. I thought I might be. Um, you know, there's always questions of asylum and, you know, where I'm going to stay and how these things work out.